I'm here with uh, Randy Gibbs. He's the uh, chief of service for the U.S. team here in uh, Estonia. Uh, what are you guys What are you guys working on right now? Uh, well, we're just trying to get the skis ready for the sprint races, mainly the test skis right now, and then the first layers on the athlete skis. Uh, tomorrow morning we'll run through a bunch of tests, and then we'll uh, start getting the athlete skis ready for the race. First classic race here. Does it seem like it's going to be pretty straightforward? Seems like it is. You never know for sure, but it's been cold today, and it's supposed to be a little colder tonight, and it should be. It seems like it's going to be perfect conditions. Uh, what, can you tell me a little bit about your uh, setup here? You got the American flag. Do you have any other sort of customizations? Uh, that's about it for customizations. As you can see, it's uh, set up with uh, a, a, an air exchange system and pretty elaborate setup. It's probably the nicest wax cabin we've seen ever. For sure, it's the newest, nicest one on the World Cup. And uh, hopefully more venues will start to adapting to this style. I think it's a new fist rule to get to this level of ventilation too, so yeah, it's a big difference. How many uh, pairs of skis are you guys like working with in here? Um, I think we think with the whole team we have about 350 pair, but as far as test skis go, we have maybe 15 to 20 pair that we deal with, waxing over and over again. What, uh, like, you think about, because you, you do a lot of work on the World Cup, like what? How how does that sort of work compare to here? Like it seems like you, you must have like a lot more work to get familiar with the skis. Yeah, because a lot of these skis come in and we don't we've never seen them before and we don't know how they mark the kick zones or who marked them or if they were how what, what they even work in certain conditions. So we kind of had the athletes each fill out a ski form with mm -hmm. their serial numbers and characteristics of the ski, the grind, and, and what when they use them usually, and then we're kind of going by that, and then also testing with the athletes to make sure they're going to have the best skis possible. Okay. So. What's uh, the music of choice? Uh, well, we just do a random mix. We're trying to get Pandora going, but it uh, doesn't work in Europe, so um, have, it's just my iPod now. So. Have you tried? I hear the uh, Estonian folk music is pretty good. Have you tuned yeah, into that at all? No, I haven't tuned into it, but Oleg would know more about that. But. Oleg, do you know anything about the Estonian folk music? Is that the rhythm? Is it good for waxing? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, well, uh, thanks, guys.